Hello, and welcome to a Tuesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. It's currently 9.59 p.m. on Monday, November 22nd in New York City, meaning one minute until the Tuesday crosswords. It's getting pretty cold here in D.C., so I'm repping my, uh, my UCSD Mathematics hoodie. Shout out to, uh, to Jay and Ball Don't Lie. We, uh, we made these <laughs> back in the day, back in grad school. Anyway, looking at yesterday's leaderboard, uh, I was the only one under 20 seconds, somewhat surprisingly. Maybe Abuja was tough. Then we had Mer Unicorn, PB Gegner, Stickers, and the Glorp under 30 seconds. Shout out to Mer Unicorn. Coming in second place there. Then we had Chenny, Joe Obi, Hoopla, Phil, to Nomad, M Heat 17, Ball Don't Lie under one minute. That's uh that's my math bro there. Then we got E Errol, Phil Boris, Panda Gucci, Kimball, Lil Sun, Marks, ABC 104, Justin, Jaywoo, Osmond, haven't seen Osmond in a while, and the Duke Priest. Alright, well, it's now 10 o'clock in New York City, meaning we should have some Tuesday crosswords. So here is your spoiler alert for the Tuesday Mini. If you would like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Mini is always free to play. Alright, without further ado, let's get into it. Act. What's it called? Uh, eight up. And so, that's so Raven. Furry? Is that what it is? Whoops. Arena. Thrust. Typos. Okay. <laughs> Furry. That was fur something, but couldn't think of it. Or was I just pretending that I didn't know? I just didn't know. Bryce Canyon. Many a sports stadium early there. This clue has a few of them. And so, play section, sure. Anyway, not so fast on the mini these days, but now for the main event, that's the Tuesday Daily Grid, which is by Eric Bornstein. Here is your spoiler alert if you would like to play along. Pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. And we've got the fairly rare left-right symmetry today. So... I wonder what caused this. I guess we'll see once we see the theme once we see the themers. Without further ado, let's get into it. Any money money group. Get on it. ASAP here, sad blue. And we record holders. Barry Bonds, right? Humiliate. A base? Kind of visa. Transfer something? Tufts. Uh I don't know. I think it might be a T though. Yeah, so that's a utility. Stuffy graph. Bugs. How best to hit? Not sure. This is retro. Hira, maybe? Cobra's Pepsi is an ad war. That's a jar there. Singer profile to walk the line. Don't know it. Smart Alec. Probably dull there. Uh, Rene Descartes. When here. This is Ariel. Solidly? Personal finance, right? Uh, bonds. I see. Oh, bleh. Darn. This is tab. Understood. Uh, tacit? Ah, is it an E, maybe? Make reparations atone. This is Tesla. Condor bread is non. This is India. I have to in-store. Hmm. This is Adam. Mail order. Okay. Rapper fronting. Not sure. Blank you are you. That's truer than true. Is it truly? Transit visa, that's right. It's yes. This is oaf. Explanation upon, upon reaching customer service. Finally. Nay. Uh, John Stock. This is yards, right? Horse for a night. It's a steed. Tightly packed. Is this iced tea? Maybe. Silly inane. I don't see it yet. Uh, not sure. Quantity amount here. Profs, helpers, TAs. Last something. This is Adam Silver. Uh, blank, you are you. Uh, today, I think. This is CSI. Is it? Maybe. Licked. Is it Ashed? This is iMac. Oh, this is Messe, I think. Johnny Cash, okay. 
in a risky situation. On thin ice. In a second here. This is Twas the Night Before Christmas. This is an aisle. Part of an act is a scene. Air, I saw Elba. Not a chance. It was CSI. Anvil here. Last in line. This cows. Over the top. What were you thinking? This is Snow, I believe. It's a Tsar. Maybe Chap here. Doesn't mean a thing. Zero. Also. Okay, just... Just nicked under three minutes there. Yeah, so the reason for... The symmetry is the lengths of the themers. It's 10, 10, 10, 15. But... Gotta say... First of all, don't love how early this revealer is. Second of all, silver? I mean, sure, you can have some precious metals in your investments, but like, where is stocks? Stocks, bonds, and cash seems to me to make up most people's portfolios. I don't think people have a, a ton of money in silver, generally. I mean, it's hard to have a ton of money in silver because it's like, it's like 20 cents an ounce, or sorry, $20 an ounce, right? To me, <laughs> yeah, you're missing stocks. It seems like that seems like it's a big miss. <laughs> if you're gonna include bonds, yeah. It's also it's three people, which I guess is good for consistency. But you need to know. I mean, the NBA commissioner is not as famous, I don't think, as Barry Bonds or Johnny Cash. Well he is a I think he's a I think he's a Duke business alum, maybe. <laughs> yeah, so to me this theme while well, it's an interesting idea, three people's last names. Um let's see. Are there any famous stocks? Um let's see. I know it's going to give me that first, but I want disambiguation. Let me just stock people. Are any of these people the same level of famous as Johnny Cash and Barry Bonds? I guess maybe if they were, they would have come to mind, huh? I don't think any of these people are as famous as... <laughs> Barry Bonds or Johnny Cash. Nor these people. Yeah. Various people named John Stocks. There's a disambiguation page, even. Yeah, but no one really... <coughs> no one really Tuesday Crosser famous, I guess. just seems like such a weird trio. Ash, Bonds, and Silver. But, I mean, yeah, you can have some money in precious metals, sure. I feel like a lot of people maybe trade silver ETFs or something. Anyway, it's an interesting idea, but it's not my personal favorite. Both three proper nouns, one of whom is a little bit obscure, although I'm a basketball fan. And then it just seems like something is missing. And the revealer is quite high, but interesting. Interesting nonetheless. And there's a little bit of a, this is sort of theme related, right? At least in the cluing. So that's kind of nice. You can clue ABBA with a lot of different songs, but money, money, money is sort of related to the puzzle. Um, let's see if there's anything. Oh, Blea. Not sure I, I'm not sure I know this interjection. Oh, just it's bleh. I feel like it doesn't. It's got it's got more of a disgust element than darn. Feels not exactly quite synonymous, but 
nice clue on today. Nice little, I, I don't know it actually. I wonder what, I wonder where it's from. Happy birthday to you. There you go. That's the Dr. Seuss reference there. I do love Conan O'Brien, although he's no longer a late night host. Isn't that true? Yeah, Conan is over. Right? Conan ended in June. This is a the podcast. So I think he I think he's no longer a late night host. So I think this clue is out of date. Although I'm sure I'm sure the puzzle puzzle was submitted when he still was. As long as we're we're picking nits. I said messe here. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. Ah oh, it is messe. Okay, I kinda I knew that. With enough crosses of course. Truly amazing. Shout out to uh Shout out to Valdo Lai who uh who texted us <laughs> saying that he couldn't he couldn't solve the um the Newton's law of cooling differential equation to compute when to take the turkey out of the oven. Which is a thing we did every year in grad school. Um <laughs> We have some great pictures. Uh it it works surprisingly well if you know how to solve the differential equation, which apparently well, the line doesn't know how to do. Um, but yeah, also there's stuff that's as long as theme stuff, which I kind of don't like that much. But yeah, puzzle like the fill is fine, I think, except for this clue on Conan. But I don't know. The theme just feels like like nearly, nearly there, but. I would tweak it a little bit. I don't know. It is hard to do these left-right symmetric grids, I think. It's hard to, to fill in the black squares. Um, so it's it's certainly a visually striking puzzle. It will be actually pretty quick. Sub three on a Tuesday. Doesn't always happen. Leaderboard for tomorrow. We've got stickers trailing by just one second. Valiant effort stickers and on the secret leaderboard. We have Kimball in 10 seconds. Wow, big shot to Kimball. That's super duper fast. I think that might end up first tomorrow. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you tomorrow for some Wednesday puzzles. See you then.